Why am I so happy that President Trump got convicted? Because I finally know that he is going to be our next president. If anybody wanted to the, to have the confirmation, if anybody anybody was already saying what's going to happen if something like this actually takes place, obviously there is no other historical reference. There's nothing that we can go back to see if 50 years ago, if 100 years ago, uh, even though we've seen all the presidents that probably did have the reason to be taken to this level, no one ever believed that it was a good idea for something like this to happen. Now, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you believe in terms of political affiliation. What I'm hoping for is that you still have the ability to look into right and wrong. I'm an immigrant. I came from another place. Uh, I know what political systems look like in other countries. And we are closer and closer, a little bit at a time, uh, just getting to the point where we're now going to start looking like countries from Central America, South America. The, the former president of Honduras, which is the country that I was born in, is here right now doing time for selling drugs. So it's, it's not unusual in these countries that a president can get to the point of getting convicted for real crimes, right? It's like 4,000 tons of cocaine. You know what I mean? This man was convicted of selling or helping being part of the distribution system. I think that's a reason to lock up somebody. An NDA, $130,000, especially when we have so many other things going on with the Biden family. Uh, guys, again, listen, uh, it's, it's actually expected that somebody that came into the country, I was 18 years old, I didn't know anybody, I didn't speak the language. I'm nothing but grateful to this country for everything that I was able to do for my family, for myself, and for many people around me. Nothing but gratitude. I, I just don't understand how anybody will want to destroy it. What I have seen gradually is people playing certain games and manipulating the system to the point that you're saying, okay, so that's what happens. People want to hold down to power. Why? Because they like power. And once they have it, they don't want to let it go. And they say that, you know, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And that's what you're seeing. People that are getting to the levels of absolute power that are getting to the point to be corrupted in a way that we can say you are absolutely corrupted. And and for anybody that has witnessed the process, you know, I, I've been saying all along, this is going to backfire tremendously. And, and they, they, I don't understand how they don't see it. It's either willful denial or, or is simply ignoring how people are responding every time they do something to this man that everybody in the rest of the country said, you know, that's not fair. That doesn't look right. That looks politically motivated. That doesn't look like somebody who did something wrong because if that was the case, there is so many other people that would be locked up and arrested today. So I listen, I go back to the reason why I started to pay attention to politics. This is going back when the uh, uh, Clinton and, and the uh, Lewinsky affair uh, is taking place and i'm going to be honest with you even though we know for a fact that this man was guilty of doing what he was doing that he denied uh what he did that he literally lied in multiple occasions and that could have been enough of a reason not only to get him impeached because he got his impeached as a punishment he lost his uh, uh ability to practice law so his law license was actually removed from him so bill clinton for everybody was like that was enough of a punishment right and and I, I, I paid attention because even though we knew all of that, I was saying, ah, this is not good to treat a president. At that point, I was actually blaming Republicans, saying, you guys are getting out of hand. You know what I mean? You, you're just getting to the point where the sympathy level just keeps going up. You know, people are going to even start liking this man even more because it feels like a vendetta. But guess what? You know, karma has a funny way to uh, work around. You know, now you have a person who uh, every time they come after him, and listen, whether you like it or not, you know what I mean? And there are moments when Donald Trump will say certain things and you go like, ah, I'm sure there was a thousand other ways for you to say it better. Most people, what they don't like about him is, is some of his uh, uh, personality or his personal delivery about certain things. But to be quite honest with you, this is a man that has been successful. Uh, they want to call him a cheater for that, right? By the way, it's not unusual. Every time somebody becomes successful, they, uh, most people will immediately go to, oh, he probably cheated. There's, there's, nobody wants to consider the possibility that this guy's a hard worker. And by all uh, reporting and all standards out there when it comes to work ethic, the one thing that they say about this man is this man is a hard worker, right? So 
He's out there. He made a number of deals. He constantly put himself in front of risk and risky situation. Divorce, like beautiful woman. He likes beautiful woman. Doesn't drink, doesn't do drugs, right? Uh, but he has been married for a long time, has a beautiful family, has some beautiful children. The fact that they wanted to go out of their way to try to um, they just they not just embarrass this man, but in the process of that, just not even care about what the impact would be for the rest of the children, for the rest of his family. That that talks about us getting to a point where our desire to win, our desire to crush the competition is whatever it takes. And that's a very dangerous position to be. Now, here's a couple of things that I want you to keep in mind. I know for a fact that a lot of people that uh, didn't necessarily like it or were attracted to the idea of him being president again, the more that we're looking at the choices, the more that you're looking at, at, at another Biden presidency and you're looking at Donald Trump, right? And you can look at the economy, you can look at the many other reasons that are legitimate reasons for somebody to say, we need to elect somebody else. This man is not, this is not good for the country. It's not good for an immigrant. I'm an immigrant telling you that the immigration issue that we have here financially is a disaster. You can't ignore that every time you go to the supermarket or you go put gas in your car. It's just, it's just, there are certain things. The fact that we are fighting or that we are proxy or by proxy fighting other wars, multiple wars right now. And then in some of cases, one of those wars, we don't even have a clear position. You know, Israel, we defend you sometimes. Here are some weapons, but at the same time, we're going to criticize you heavily. And, and we're going to try to get you to, we're going to put pressure for you to stop. I, what is the message? You don't even have a clear position. That's not leadership. We need leadership that will have a clear position about how things have to be done to stick to that. And every single time, I, I kept telling everybody that I can have a conversation with, listen, What's actually happening is the sympathy level, uh, the, the the fact that I can relate to an individual. Most people at some point of their life had that experience where they felt I was not properly treated by the system. Well, now this is, you look at the highest level. If this can happen to a former president, imagine what can happen to you. And so um, I will say Democrats buckle up for many reasons. I think there's a lot of people that normally wouldn't even pay attention, just like it was in my case, back in the whole Clinton situation. There's many people that don't pay attention to politics in a normal day-to-day -day basis, but you are forcing them. You are turning this man into a martyr. You know what I mean? It's going to be St. Donald Trump at some point if we're not careful here. And that's your fault. That's your doing. $35 million almost, literally $35 million to, to, to be donated to his campaign in 10 hours? That's a record. Like, I don't know that something like that has ever happened. But if you wanted to get a pause on how people are reacting, how they see it, right? So either, either again, here are the only three choices that I can see for people that don't want to accept that what's taking place is not healthy for the country. Forget about just Donald Trump for the moment. But but let's address the whole issue with Donald Trump, right? Either you hate this man so much that you cannot care, or you couldn't care less about right and wrong. You, you just hate him so much. You're naive, right? That, that you say, no, maybe, you know, the, the system is just that sometimes some people get cut up, not everybody makes it to court. And, and, and you're just still hoping that, and that, you know what? God bless you if you actually think that what's actually taking place is, is a little normal. Yeah, I promise you that you're sleeping a lot better than all of us in, in, in the country right now. Or you truly to the point that you are just willing to lie to yourself, lie to everyone that you have a conversation, because you couldn't have a normal conversation with anybody trying to argue that what happened here was something good for the country. For, forget about if it was good or not for Donald Trump. This is, this is because I hate to tell you this, this guy is gonna make it. The one thing that he has literally over and over like what he has shown since since the whole thing so the moment that he became a president is that he has the ability to endure about average that he has the the level of mental toughness that only a few people has the capability to handle and that might have something to do why he is so successful you know to raise that kind of money that quickly it's just letting you know how people that again normally wouldn't even pay attention to politics are waking up saying, and they literally saying, this is definitely not good. I'm telling you as a person that came from another country, and I have seen how gradually 
in the last 20 plus years, the country has gotten to the point where politics and anybody that is participating in that area is either already too close or has already become deeply involved in at the highest level of corruption, making politics the worst possible game for anyone to play. I, I think that you have awakened a monster, uh, Democrats. I think that you are going to lose the election precisely because of what happened here and all the other stuff that you're trying to pull pull off with, with the different other cases that still happen to be outstanding out there. No matter what happens, uh, I, the, watch the amount of people that are saying, I will proudly vote for a convicted felon. If, if that's what you wanted, if you thought that you want to be using the line, the, that famous line that everybody's already using, Donald Trump convicted felon, watch it. That's going to become another t-shirt. That's going to become another t-shirt. You're going to be buying coffee mugs saying that uh, my convicted fellow president, uh, it, it was an incredible mistake. I cannot believe how misguided uh, the hate from one person can absolutely believe because it cannot be based on his best for the country. What happened here? was not best it's not it, it was not in the best interest of anyone in the country and it's in any he, here's the worst part about it you know it's the old what you do to my guy watch what i'm gonna do to your guy what do you think is gonna happen now that we open this very unfortunate door moving forward i hope not i hope everybody is gonna just go back to saying how about we play politics the right way how about we let the elections really speak for the people. How about we don't use any legal system available, whether it's federal or state, to uh, weaponize the system to use it against the opponents? Because remember, one day you're going to be on the other side of the coin. Because I promise you that there's a movement that is being awakened right now where people are willing to financially get involved. They're willing to go out there and support. They're willing to campaign. They're willing to go do things that they will normally never be considered just because of this gigantic mistake. So with that being said, I'm dying to hear your perspective. I'm telling you, I feel, deeply feel that the country needed a change. I deeply feel that we are going in the wrong, in the wrong direction right now. I deeply feel that from the border to the economy, to the wars that we're fighting, uh, we definitely not doing the things that are in the best interest of the country. So I was looking for for a change. I just I was very concerned as to whether or not this man was going to be able to get elected uh, uh, with, with all the baggage, with all the stuff going on. And but at the end of the day, his ideas are better. What he's proposing, again, from economy to energy to wars to the border to you name it, everything is a better policy that will better for the country at the highest level, better for the individual, better for business. And at the end of the day, I'm absolutely relieved that this mistake took place because I know that Donald Trump will be our next president. Dying to hear your opinion, whatever your take is. If you disagree, let me know. If you don't think that it was a good thing for, for the country, also let us know because I wanna make sure that, that and I wanna know why do you think was this was definitely not a good idea for the country. And if you absolutely believe that it was a great idea, I'm also open to have that conversation with you. And just, again, I'm letting you know as a guy that have seen other countries, you don't know what it is not to have America if you were born in America. Telling you as a person that has seen the highest level of corruption taking place in other countries, the kind of games that we are playing at this very moment with that man who is going to be our next president. With that being said, I appreciate you. If you care to comment, uh, we will definitely respond to your messages. All right, thank you so much. Take care, bye-bye.